first reading today comes from Psalms 40, verses 1 through 11. And this is from the first egalitarian translation of the Bible. I waited patiently for you, O God. You came to me and heard my cry. You delivered me up from the desolate pit, out of the miry bog, and set my feet upon a rock, making my steps secure. You put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many will look on in wonder, and so will put their trust in you. Happy are those who make the Lord their trust, who do not turn to the proud, to those who go astray after false gods. You have multiplied, O Lord my God, your wondrous deeds and your thoughts toward us. None can compare with you. Were I to proclaim and tell all of them, they would be more than could be counted. Sacrifice and offering you do not desire. Instead, you made me receptive to you. You ask no burnt offering or sacrifice for sins for me. Then I said, here I am. In the scroll of the book, it is written of me. I delight to do your will, O oh my God. Your law is within my heart. I have told the glad news of deliverance in the great congregation. See, I have not restrained my praise, as you know, O oh Lord. I have never kept your generosity to myself, but announced your faithfulness and saving action. I have made no secret of your love and faithfulness in the great congregation. Do not, O oh Lord, withhold your mercy from me. Let your steadfast love and your faithfulness keep me safe forever. And our second reading is from 2 Timothy chapter 1, verses 6 and 7, and this is also the first egalitarian translation. I want to remind you to fan into flame the gift of God, which is in you through the, line, through the laying on of my hands. For God didn't give us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power, of love, of self-discipline. Amen. <laughs> 